Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you get the alerts as soon as new content is posted. And welcome to Dave Moss Unsprung. As always, Sean is in the chat room aggregating everybody's questions. Tonight's topic, top out springs. So, before we dive straight into that, I just want to go through a few basics so that we are all, all on the same page here. We were talking about this before the show, and I was chatting about it with a couple of friends, and they were like, what? the hell is a top out spring? So it seems, and it was quite funny at the time, that not a lot of people might know what that is, as Michael Caine would say. Okay, so we're going to run through a couple things here. Simple basics that are real important and fundamental to what we're going to do here. We have ourselves a ZX6 fork upside down. The fork is clamped here in the upper triple clamp. It is clamped here in the lower triple clamp. That means this piece, the outer tube, or if you have a telescopic fork, the upper portion of the chrome tube is rigid. It is locked in place. This part moves up and down inside the outer leg. Really important. Now let's take it one stage further. Let's get into some internal components. So if we gutted the fork, there is a bolt in the foot. So in some, there is not. That bolt connects in here to the compression adjuster. At the top, we have our fork cap, which screws into the outer tube. So between the threads on the cap and the bolt in the base, this cartridge is held. Now, if we all agree that this does not move, that means the fork cap is rigid. The rest of it up here, turn it sideways, will move in that direction, straight up and down. Now, let's take this apart a little bit further. Stay with me on this one. I don't want to lose anybody right out the get-go with the show. So, what you couldn't see, and we'll turn it this way for Chris, is that this component is a rebound rod which means this is held and the cartridge moves up and down like this. Now, a lot of you may be going, what on earth is this? Well, this is a bottom out. What is the purpose of the bottom out? It means that this rod cannot continue all the way through the cartridge until it smacks into the compression adjuster. So this acts as a safety check for the rod so no hard parts hit inside. How close is it? Well. Should we take a look? There's that. We'll unscrew the cartridge. We'll lay the cartridge in place accurately against the compression adjuster and accurately bottomed all the way out. There. So you can see from the machining here, this gap is tiny. So it is absolutely critical that the bottom out piece on the rebound rod stay in place. I'm going to remove these two components, and Chris will keep the camera right where it is. And this is our top out spring. So what is it for? Well, when you pull wheelies, obviously the fork extends, which moves the rebound rod comes up to the top. If it extends, you don't want to have metal parts smash into each other. So you have a nice top out spring that acts as a buffer. That way, this component does not smash into this component and bend things. Now, top out springs come in various different sizes. This, for example, is off an RC51. So let's place it roughly in line with the one we have and you can see that it is significantly longer. What you can see then is there's three different lengths. This one obviously is extremely soft. This one has a little play in it and this one will barely move. And I'm not really a weak guy but that really doesn't want to flex at all and you're going to ride hard then you have 
a variable amount of suspension available to you based on the manufacturer's specs. That suspension travel will then be reduced by the length of the top out spring, things that go boom. So can you just pan back? There we go, Chris, perfect. That used to be a very, a very straight rebound rod until hard parts hit and it bent and we had to extricate it so we could go ahead and rebuild some things. It says in the manual that this motorcycle with the show forks has 130 millimeters of travel. We have a ton of questions. Excellent. First question comes from Ducky. Does a top out spring have anything to do with relaxed preload? On to the next one. A barn. Does the top out spring alter your sag measurement? Dave, MX bikes are able to lock the forks for starts. Is there something similar in the road racing world? Geo 21. So I guess I don't understand what's better, a short or longer top out spring. All right, so let me grab the two here. They're close at hand, and we'll bring them over to the table. 